will continue now uh, to study the basic information about uh, uh, the human visual system and the components, in particular the components uh, in blue highlighted in these lights. Uh, first of all, we'll start with uh, with eyes. Eyes are important in the human visual system and the visual system because they are the one that decide what information comes from the environment and is represented into the brain. Um, so they're the gateway of information, the input. Um, eyes are, um, for the purpose of this class, we're not going to go into a whole lot of details about um, eyes or brain uh, areas. I just want to give you um, a pointer then um, about um, the basic information about each one of these components um, and I would recommend you that you read um, neuroscience books or um, some of the links that I will provide about each one of these components. But talking about eyes, some of the most important you know, features of the eyes is that uh, the eyes has uh, some kind of a lens, you know, just like a digital camera uh, that uh, basically takes uh, a view of the environment and projects it into um, a cortical area of the brain. It's just like an extension of the brain, really. It's called the retina. Uh, the retina is, uh, you know, a neural circuitry that is uh, fairly complicated and it's not even completely fully understood yet. Um, that has a, a certain uh, amount of neurons and receptors <coughs> and uh, it conveys information out via an optic nerve to you know the following uh, LGN, lateral geniculite nucleus and uh, the visual cortex. One interesting thing to note about the retina is that it is inverted so all the photoreceptors sort of are in the back here of the eye so the light has to travel through all the other cells um, to get into the retina. Um, all the output from, from the retina, the ganglional cells, is uh, sort of on, on top of the retina and it gets um, conveyed here by, uh, by the optic nerve uh, to, the, uh, to the outside. <coughs> so, just to mention a few uh, very thi simple things about the retina, I recommend reading more about it. The retina is composed by um, you know, a few kind of cells. Uh, here I mentioned just a few. So there's the photoreceptors that convert the light into a voltage, basically. Um, there's horizontal cells, uh, bipolar cells, and amacrine cells. Um, and all of these neurons are sort of like analog neurons. They don't produce the spikes. The only neuron that produces spikes are ganglional cells. And the reason is that a lot of these neurons are uh, very close together, uh, they don't necessarily need to convert to travel uh, to convert information for uh, long distances. Instead, the ganglional cell have to propagate information from the eyes to the brain, which is, you know, 10 to 20 centimeters away. So they really need um, to be converted into pulses that can be uh, travel through the human body more effectively. Um, so here you can see. Uh, some of you know simple circuitry, horizontal cell are uh, cells that uh, provide some kind of a, you know spatial uh, spatial averaging. Um, bipolar cell convey uh, this averaging information down uh, to amacrine cell that um, also do some kind of an average both temporal and spatial. And then ganglion cell report convert this information into a sequence of pulses. Um, the human retina has different photoreceptors. Uh, there are cones and rods. Uh, rods are more sensitive um, with the low light. Um, and cones are uh, sensitive to both color and um, high light intensity. So during the day, um, cone sensitivity, you know, is about, um, you know, there's a considered to be a, in the human retina about three kinds of cones. Uh, there's a blue cone center in the blue, uh, there's a green cone and a red cone that are quite actually similar. Um, <coughs> and this is some, some of their um, um, basically light absorption characteristics that you can see. Uh, the retina um, does a lot of processing. Um, if you 
can imagine that um, the photoreceptors are on the order of 100 millions while um, the, the output uh, number of fiber for the ganglion cell are just one million. You can think that the retina really does a lot of compression in the image in the sense that we do, you know, in the similar sense as JPEG images that are compressed for information. The kind of compression is quite different, but there is a lot of compression to just remove redundant information that uh, allows the brain to more easily process information. If uh, you overload the brain with information, you might not be able to detect the details that you want to detect. It might also make it more difficult, and it might make the brain excessively large in animals and consume excessive power. Also, it's wasteful. Uh, in any case, because if the information is not there, we are not interested in some specific information. It's better to get rid of it as soon as possible, and that's what the retina really does. <coughs> so this is just a cartoon representation of how the retina might see lines, uh, and how uh, you know the ganglional cells might report that sort of line information. Uh, horizontal cells and um, uh, amacrine cells um, might organize in uh, in receptive fields, so the one that I told you about. So, so one one of these retinas, one of these horizontal cell, uh, might be looking at a lot of photoreceptor and might be looking, for example, for uh, uh, you know a dark back dark thing over a, a, a lighter background or a darker background with a lighter dot. So they look for sort of a arrangement like this. So there's like a little dot of uh, black or white in uh, the opposite background, basically. And if you put a lot of these together, uh, then ganglion cell might be able to detect uh, some lines and uh, this, uh, some of the same operation that will be done in V1, as we will see later. Uh, this is just a cartoon example to show you that if the line is oriented properly, uh, in uh, in the retina, um, the, the retina, the LGN, which is really like uh, just like um, a copy of the retina response in a sense, is just a relay. Um, as far as I know, or, uh, it's known. So you can see that if the, uh, this line is oriented with the receptive field, each one of these neurons will fire, you know, with these little bars here, and then the simple cortical cell that sees this line will fire even more because it means that you know it's seeing this line. But if I rotate this line here, uh, then these two uh, receptive fields won't see a line on top, uh, and only these guys, only these receptive these cells here, will see a line that has uh, basically some darker stuff in in, uh, in the center and uh, and less dark in the surround. So this this cell will only fire a little bit and this uh, might not be enough to make this uh, cell fire. So this is a representation of a uh, receptive field uh, in the brain. Also, uh, the retina processes information about uh, uh, really motion and contour. So this is more or less what I wanted you guys to um, remember the most about um, what, what the retina does uh, in lack of more time or um, more information is just remember that the retina processes information and it finds special temporal um, uh, filters that respond to uh, to changes so to small motions and, and things like this. I recommend you go and see some movies from Frank Werbling which has studied the retina for all his life. Um, the retina also provides uh, some local contrast normalization so if I take an image from the outside a local contrast normalizer, you might see something like this, where uh, basically um, the illumination is not important if an area, uh, part of the, the face or uh, the bodies of these people, it, uh, receives more light than uh, some other parts. It does not matter. What matters is that uh, each area is treated equally because there could be, uh, you know, predator lurking in a darker area or a predator lurking in a lighter area, it doesn't matter, the envi everything in the environment uh, should be treated the same if we can perceive it. So the retina uh, removes a lot of redundant information in terms of light and only presents you with uh, uh, edges, you know, it enhance enhances the edges of an image because that's where most of the 
information content is. Um, and yes, the retina is uh, more than just a simple operation that I described. This is just a very rough uh, description of the retina. For your benefit, please read more. I give you here a few links. Um, most of you might have a neuroscience book or might be able to get a copy. Um, any uh, latest neuroscience book will have a nice chapter on the retina. I highly recommend you to read it. Um, it will really enhance your capability if you're really serious about buying inspired uh, vision systems.